morning everyone this is Denise with Simply Love Soaps and today I'm going to be making some candles and I just thought I would show you guys a little bit of how I prepare for my candle making um, I usually do the prep work the night before um, it just seems to be a little easier to you know match everything up and hot glue it down and you know that kind of thing but usually what I do is I have these eight ounce tins they come wrapped in these little wrappers I will take the top off I usually take a paper towel wipe them out just to dust them out I do the same with the lid and then I take whoops where'd I put them I take my warning label like this and put them on the bottom of the tin and then I usually take my two wicks and I make them up make sure there's no gaps that kind of thing play with it until I get it right and then I just attach the wicks into the stand and then um, something I recently learned and I like better because it seems to help with the lighting is I actually take and cut at an angle. I only cut about that much off and then I hot glue it to the middle of the tin. And that's how I usually prep my containers beforehand. And I'm going to make a couple of candles today, so I thought I would show you. Now, these are the warning labels. I get like a big uh, link roll of them. And I recently upgraded some of my equipment. I changed my wicks, which I am liking these wicks from Be Scented much better. They're a little bit wider, and um, I just really like them. And I like the, uh, the wick stands better as well. Let me move that out of the way. Now when I make my candles, I used to make them in threes, but Jen showed a better way of how to make the candles. And I do five now instead of three. And it just one saves me time because I have sold more of these particular candles than I have of my other candles. So, and I use just this big pot like this for my melted wax, which I use a Presto pot for that. And I use a bartending spoon for my mixing. So, I'm just going to come over here, pour my wax. Press the pot makes it so much easier. Stop it. And I'm going to come over here and weigh. I need more. So, let me double check my weight. Checking my weight again. I can never quite get it right, so I have to go back and forth. But um, I still save a lot of time using the Presto Pot. I'm just having to get used to the weight difference. Almost there. Oh my. 
almost. Now it's just a tap it too much. I just go back and forth. That's like 0.5 of an ounce too much. Let's see what we got here. There we go. Move these two out of the way. I'm going to double check my heat. We're still good. I add my color. This is going to be Honeysuckle by Be Scented is the fragrance that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using the liquid yellow candle dye and the liquid orange candle dye. And guys, I love these things so much better than um, the black color. The mixing is just so easy. I'm gonna move this up a little more. I hope I'm still in sight. And just squeeze it out, shake them up, and then just add. This is mostly going to be yellow but I do want a yellow-orange color, so I added about six drops of yellow, and I'm gonna add about two, three, three drops of orange. I'm gonna mix it up. It's gonna be loud because this is metal hitting metal. And then I'm just gonna stir it down to my temp for me to pour it in my fragrance oil. Um, I like the way Jen has us doing it from her candle making class um, simply because we're actually pouring and mixing at a little higher temp. I do like the fact that um, that class was pretty awesome and it has helped my candle making game big time. So I'm just stirring. It is going to get a little loud and noisy. Stir and stir. Get those scissors out of the way. I'm just stirring until I get it down to the tint that I want to add my fragrance oil in. Presto Pot simply because I can keep my wax, my soy wax, um, at a good temp for making these without having to constantly go back and forth to the stove, waiting for the wax to melt, that kind of thing. And even though I do have to go back and forth a little bit since I've changed my recipe amount, um, I do, you know, that's just me needing to readjust to the idea of how much oil I've got in this pot for pouring versus actually just not getting it right. Um, so after a couple more, I probably made about six of them and um, or six different fragrances since I've changed the way I make my candles. And I'm telling you guys, the difference was pretty awesome. I'm almost at the tip of where I want to pour in my fragrance. I stir constantly simply because it helps to lower the oil tint. <clears throat> but I think this is gonna be a pretty honeysuckle color. And I love the scented honeysuckle. It has no vanillin, plus it has a higher than 200 flash point. 
and um, they recently had the 16 ounce on sale sometimes they have like a fragrance oil on sale like for a couple of weeks and it's usually <clears throat> right at a pound of fragrance oil for ten dollars and um, as y'all know I am a huge be scented fan so, and guys, I recommend their candle making class. Just stir a little more. I'm trying to keep from hitting the pot so much. Normally, if I'm not recording, I am just going and going and you'll hear a lot of banging. <laughs> We're at the temp that I want to add my fragrance oil in. And I stir this until I can see that the fragrance oil has bounded with the soy wax. There's just a slight change in the color, which I never noticed that until Jen pointed out on, I think it was on the um, tarts that they make that there's a color difference between the, when the fragrance oil is added in and when it is poured. Sorry for the banging. Oops, I got a little hot wax or glue gun wax string in there. Just making sure that that's okay. My battery is about to go out on my gun. Almost ready. Oh, it smells so good. This fragrance is actually one of my husband's favorite soaps. My husband loves a honeysuckle soap. And, you know, it's funny because I think of this macho man loving a honeysuckle soap. <laughs> but um, this fragrance oil oh, just smells so good. Point of pour. There we go. Then I just take it and fill it in. I do not prime my wicks simply because the soy handle will automatically prime it. You'll be able to see the difference in the in the wick when it's been primed. Just a little more. just kind of stoop down to watch and make sure that they have been filled and there we go so guys this is how I make honeysuckle candles and I will provide you with some pictures down below all right
Thank you guys. Y'all have a blessed day and be well.